Hey YouTube, it's me coming at you today with a review. Now I showed you a haul a while back of the e.l.f. products, so today I'm coming to tell you a little bit about it. So let's see, first up, which is one of my favorite ones, it's called Complexion Brush. Now it looks extra fluffy because I've been using this one today, but it's normally it's pretty flat. And this one is great. It reminds me of two brushes. We have the MAC 136, which is also flat powder brush. And it reminds me of a Stila, Stila, whichever the name is, if you use those. And it's another flat brush that looks just like this one. Pretty much the same job. So all over powder, it works good. Applying blush, it works good because you can kind of get it exactly where you need it at. You can do highlight with it, bronzer. I can do all my powder products with this one brush. So I was really liking it. And shedding, it has not shed at all. My 136 sheds not like crazy. Not like the 109, but it does shed. And it still doesn't shed too, too much, but it still sheds. But for $1.50, this is good. So definitely recommend the complexion brush. And like I said, it's powder. Pretty much that's what is a powder brush. Now we got the fan brush. This one I wasn't too, too much of a fan. <laughs> a fan of. I wasn't a fan of the fan brush. It is really soft. Which is what I don't really like about it because I need feel like I need more to it to really get up into it. So, you know what I'm saying? Not really. I have a fan brush from Ulta that works um, pretty good. And it's a little smaller, as you see, the one from Ulta. And if you look at them this way, this way it's a little denser. So, I can use this to sweep off extra powder. I can put on blush with it. Um, I went to Mac Pro Store. They showed me like how to use a fan brush and I had to get one. I didn't get the well actually I do have a Mac one too. But that one's in my in my little closet makeup room. But that one, the Mac one is like the 187 dual fiber and it's even softer than this one. So it works okay, but I like the Ulta one the best. This one isn't bad. Like I said, $1.50 if you're looking for a fan brush, this would be a pretty good alternate. And this is probably the most raved about. It's the powder brush. But most people don't use it for powder. This one works great for liquid cream, like even with tech. Studio Tech is one of my favorite MAC foundations. And you can just kind of stipple it on and kind of swirl and blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And like I said, it does not shed. It gives results. Similar to what the 109 does, but without the shedding. The problem that some people may have with is, see, it's kind of wide. Not really, but sort of, kind of. Like, let's see. The 109 is, after using it, I guess it's time. I usually wash my brushes one day a week. But you can see the size difference in it. So it's not as small to get into all the different crevices. That's probably the only thing, but besides that, you can do cream liquid powder, and that's all these brushes are synthetic, so you can use them with anything. And the shedding is probably the most impressive thing I've had about it. And if you wear mineral makeup, you can do this, press powder, put it in, put it on, buff it in, a buffing brush. It works real, real good for that. So this is another highly recommended. I probably recommend this, the powder brush and the complexion brush if you were looking for just two face brushes. Now the next face brush is going to be the angled foundation brush. I haven't really used this one too much because I kind of got away from the paint, like the one, the 190. I kind of got away from those type of brushes and stuff. The 189 was one of my more painted on, painted on. But like paint it type that has see this is the 190 here from Mac and see it's just like regular tapered and then this one you have is like at an angle which I can see is real good because like you can get in your nose and blend it good and 
underneath your eyes and it is not really streaky that's one thing that i found good with it but with that is quick strokes is what i learned because i remember i first got the 190 and i'm like this is not working out just streaks because i'm like trying to paint like i'm really painting something but once i like quick strokes it does go on better but it's not my favorite brush so this one if you're looking if you like that type of putting off a foundation it's a good brush too and it's small i like smaller brushes for foundation just because you can get more control so that's also a really good thing to look into and like i said i'm gonna try to put the code up on here you get 50 percent off of all this stuff these are regular three dollars but 50 percent off a dollar fifty i would pay five times as much even more than that because these are really good brushes then this one is the concealer brush i don't too much use concealer brushes this works pretty good for if you want to do eye work, but it lays down concealer pretty good. Just kind of tap it on to wherever you need to put it at. And it works, you know, just like pretty much any other concealer brush. It's pretty flat, so it has a little, see? So it's kind of tapered, so you can blend a little bit with it, but not too much. But most of the time, I just prefer to put concealer on with my finger. So if you like concealer brushes, then... You know, we go for it, but that's not one of my must have out of the elf brushes. Now, this one is the small angled brush. This is one of their must haves. It is is a really good angle brush. I've used it for my bras, and I'm gonna talk about that later when I go over the bra powder. But this one is one of the better ones that I've used. I actually like it. It's moved my 263 out of the way for a little bit just because I do like it so much. And let's see, compared to, this is the 208, which is a short brow brushed by MAC. Let's see, compare it side by side. Maybe I should try this right here. Huh? Maybe that's why people do that. It's size, but... This one is stiff yet soft. It's pretty, it works just as good as this one. And for $1.50, and this one I think I got from the CCO for probably about $13. Not that much, but it's still $1.50, $13, a real big difference. And next eye brush we have is the contour brush. Contour brush is used to put, you know, in the crease, crease color. I have pretty much all of MAC eye brushes and my favorite ones are I like the 272 to do on um, crease color and the uh, 222 so this wasn't what I was was too fond of it was something it has like a tapered point to it you kind of see not like super super tapered but where it gets a little skinny so for a lot of people eyes it worked good with but for me it wasn't working as good as the 222 it kind of put too much color on for me. So I guess if I work with it a little bit more, I could probably do a little bit better. And it's kind of, I guess you can blend with it a little bit. So it's not similar to really any other MAC brush that I have. It's kind of by itself. It's because it's not as long as the 222, but it's not the shape of the 217. So it's kind of just a crease brush. You can find out that MAC has better. And this is the contour. But like I said, for, for it's real good for precision. So that's a good one. Then you have the small precision brush. This one right here, I found it works good if you highlight your bra. So like concealer, you can kind of get the line in there and blend it at the same time with this one brush. So I don't think MAC really has a brush like this. Or I don't have it if they do. And it's the small precision. Then we have the eyeshadow C brush. This reminds me, I don't even have it in here, but the 227, except it's a little smaller, but the overall shape, just like it. For a 227, all over wash the color real, real fast. Or, I mean, a C brush. Or for people who do powder highlights, this work good for just placing it right there where you need it. And the next one we have is the smudge brush for a smudging eyeliner along or color right underneath you. So those are brushes. I'm gonna come back with some of the other products for my part two, okay?